the end link. I don't know if it'd be terrible or not, it probably would. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, from my conversation with Raiko, I know that he absolutely loves this short hop Nair that you see him doing right now. It's so, it covers so much range, and he's able to just zone people out and rack up a huge amount of damage very quickly. And just the wide range of the sword strikes on Shulk too. And obviously the, uh, what is that, green Takes mode he back. has that increases the jump power? Yeah. It's like made for that. Raiko lands that forward smash, but it's still not going to be enough. Disney back on stage here. I don't think I Oh, he lands the uh, second hit of the up B to finally get some breathing room. Let's see if he can get in now Ooh. and start racking up some damage because currently this has been a really one-sided game. Yeah, that's kind of how mine went. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was playing Pikachu at the time and I feel like I couldn't really stand on the stage. He was constantly... Uh, Knock me up. There's, there's just seems to be almost no end lag on any of these aerials. Raiko's just able to throw them out constantly. Oh. Manages to catch him with the down B there. Hey, oh, wow. and he lands a spike. What a turnaround from Disney. I didn't even see that. That was crazy. Okay. Raiko comes right back, though, evening it up. We're back at two stocks apiece, zero damage. Reiko taking, wasting no time, though, starts building that damage. I think we're about to start seeing some more, uh, from, some more Nairs from Reiko. And there they are. He's got that same pattern going with the jumping. What, what are the different modes that Shulk the has? The different Monados. So, um, I mean, I'm no Shulk expert. Uh, actually, one of my friends, uh, one of my buddies used to play a lot of Shulk. Um, if I remember correctly, Buster Form, the, the main ones that you want to know, Buster Form has the highest knockback. The red Smash, one? Smash, no, that's yeah. purple. Oh. Um, Smash Form, which is red, has the highest damage, I believe. And then there's obviously like jump speed and then shield, which is the one that you will probably almost never see. <laughs> Who needs defenses, right? This is, <laughs> we want to see action, not shielding. All right, this is going to be really close. The next one, eight lands a good hit, sending the other off. Damn, yeah, I mean, you see the jump. It's good for dodging, I guess. Especially with oh, his no, techniques. Oh, no, no, I was talking about the shield one. Oh, okay. The jump one definitely has a lot of good uses. Oh, and there's shield. Almost, <laughs> almost like he's trying to spite me right now. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he can hear me. Uh. <laughs> Oh, and he lands a sweet spot up air to take the second stock. You gotta really pay attention to the zone. Oh, and oh. Draco comes right back again, landing that up air to take. So it looks Disney's like Shulk has control stock. of the map, but every once in a while, Zelda lands one and evens it out. Mm -hmm. These confirms from Zelda are doing wonders to keep this even. Manages to activate the jump Monado just in time to make sure you can make it back on stage. Although, while the jump Monado is active, he's having a lot harder time linking together these nares and fares. He can just Shields land... the B. If he can just land a combo rather than just one hit knocking away, you know? Yeah, it's, it's, it's good for keeping control of the area, but he's not dishing out enough damage. I can feel it going towards Zelda's favor now because she's got Zelda a Zelda has slowly crept back and taken stage control. That's a move you won't see very often. That edge slash can be very dangerous when you're near the edge. Look more, at the than, KO. more than one Shulk has SD'd trying to use edge slash to close the gap. Zelda's taking a lot of shield damage here. It's very possible that in the next attempt, if Raiko was able to get in sooner, be able to get a shield poke off, or maybe even a shield break if he hit a more powerful move. Oh, but that's going to wow. be it with the sweet spot bear. Yeah. Disney takes game one.
Very unexpected. I mean, neither of us have played against Disney, but both of us have played against Ryko, and we both know how good of a player it is. So it's a real testament to Disney's abilities with this character, especially considering that she's a lot has changed for her in terms of a lot of like how her combos work uh, compared to Smash 4, especially um, her down B now actually being useful. <laughs> True. <laughs> because it was notoriously one of the worst moves in Smash 4. Like, uh, it's good it would for be KOs. difficult to, to get hit by it in Smash 4. Whereas in this one, you get that fully ch or that full charge off, you can actually have it wait for a second, and then you can run in while it charges in as well, giving you the opportunity to kind of bait them into shielding, only to run in and grab them. Oh, he gets the grab. Back air, but no sweet spot. Little chisel. Disney's Manages landing to catch all him with the B. Disney's landing just a lot of the important hits instead of every hit possible. Lands like the sweet spot there. Like just oh. clear hits. These traps, I guess, would be the best way to describe them. The Disney setting up are doing wonders for him in this matchup. Ryko hasn't been able to adapt to this this style. You think he might be able to? He might decide to swap halfway. Ooh, I I don't know if it's gonna help. I I think that in this case it's, it's less about the character itself that Ryko is playing and more about the way that he's playing it. And it's possible that he that if he switches character, he's gonna switch to his playstyle more. Um, but. If he if he does switch characters, he definitely will need to switch to his playstyle because this is not working for him right now. He's yeah, not able. He's small, small sure he's able to, of damage. Yeah. But. Sure, and sure he's able to keep Zelda out, but Zelda doesn't need to get in to do damage. Yeah, she's and got right, just with Disney's range. ability to hit those sweet spot aerials, it's very dangerous for Raiko. Okay. Disney really starting to come in now. Using that down B very effectively to, to allow him to absorb a lot of the hits that Raiko is throwing out while also getting in to land his own combos. Well, you gotta admit that jumping is really hard, making it hard to time those combos. Shield into shield Man, got grab. The grab. Lands the side B, lands the <laughs> second one. Din's fire racking up so much damage. Any any solid hit from Disney is gonna be the end of the stock right that now. That's close right there too. Going to Maybe the shield not with to keep the shield alive, Monado, so though. Keeping himself alive, I think, with the shield. And Ooh. that that will do it. That'll be the second stock. Sometimes you forget that Zelda is a kill throw because you see it so, so little. I do think we'll be seeing a lot more Zelda in this game than we did in some of the, a lot of the previous games. In fact, in, in pretty much every game, unless you count Sheik as Zelda in uh, Melee and Brawl. <laughs> yeah, but, just a brief period, you're Zelda before you turn into Sheik. <laughs> unless you know that, like, start as Sheik. <laughs> Which you can do in both melee oh, and man. Okay. And that's it. Another spike coming out from Disney to take game two. That was game two, right? I'm not going crazy. Hey, <laughs> I'm blanking. Let's see, is Raiko gonna bring it back to the same stage again? And is he gonna same play the same character? Oh, or that, oh, was, that was game two, right? Uh, yeah, what's the score? Two oh. For, For Disney. Uh, Disney. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and it looks like we are gonna get a character swap from Raiko here. I see, yeah. 
If he's not going to be able to change his style, he might as well change his character. And he's done pretty good with this character, too. changing up the moves on the oh. me fighter here. It looks like we're going with me Gunner here, actually. Maybe for that range to keep up. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's had a lot of trouble. He's had a lot of... It's been very easy for him to keep Disney out for the majority of the game. But once he finally does let Disney in, once, once he has that one small flub, Disney just goes to town. He, he manages to get, he, he's landing more sweet spot aerials than I've seen in my entire Smash it's the, career. It's the timing. It's the timing that <laughs> On matters. Zelda at the very least. Yeah. Make sure to pick our uh, outfit here as well. Oh yeah. Very important part of the character. <laughs> But what hat are we going to go with? How edgy are you going to be? Oh, not that edgy. Taking off the hat. Well, we unlocked a new outfit, so... Yay! <laughs> Gotta make sure we grind all those unlockables in this game. Still plenty to unlock, even after you get the characters. Plenty of challenges. Some of them... Some of the, some of the challenges that, that, that I've looked at so far... Some of them are crazy, like... like I don't know who the heck is ever going to complete any of this stuff. You never know, dude. The harder, the better. The people who play this much of the same game. All right, so let's see what we're going to get here. We got another Omega stage. I have not seen this me character yet. Definitely not doing as well keeping Disney out. Disney is being a lot more aggressive and able to get in there. Draco seems content to kind of sit back and shoot out these aerials here. He's keeping his distance so he can't get those I'm hits on him. The way the way Raiko is playing me gunner right now reminds me a lot of how um, I've seen Simon and Richter play. It's just like they kind of sit back and just try and set up these traps. So you have the the long distance projectile to just keep poking at them. And then a couple of other ones that sit closer to you and, uh, that you want to try and bait them into on their approach. And then you can turn those into combos. But Disney is doing a very good job of not falling for that. Using the Phantom to face out and avoid getting hit with those projectiles. Still managing to keep the game relatively even in damage. I didn't even yeah. notice, but wow, their health is already that low. And I oh, didn't see oh, any action. No, okay. up, no sweet spot on that back air. Now it's getting a bit more excited as the aim, exciting as the aim for the KO. Getting close to Good range. roll to avoid the hitbox from that up B. Oh. Shield. Maybe focusing a bit too much on, on Zelda's down B. These lasers are stopping a lot of Disney's approach options. Before, Disney was relying a lot on that down B. Oh, but he lands yeah. the up B. And that'll take the first stop. See if he can get it back. Raiko on hit. his last, possibly his last game in winners right now. What are we gonna see from him? Because he's gotta, he's gotta switch something up because even this new strategy isn't working for him. It's working a bit better, but he's still behind. While there's still time to see, he might be getting used to it. It could be he's not even hasn't even used this combination of moves on a care on the the me. I, I I don't think Raiko would break out a new combination in, other... in, in winter semis. <laughs> you never know. Maybe in pools against one of us. But... <laughs> I don't think, especially after losing two on one of uh, arguably his best character, I don't think you pull out something new. Oh. oh! Din's fire to claim the second stock from Raiko. Grabs the ledge, regular get up. Raiko predicts that though and manages to react with the down. Hasn't taken much damage so, yet. He might be able to bring it back. No, but he's got to close this out soon. 
Giving Disney any time at all is too dangerous. Disney has shown how quickly he can turn things around and take socks. Good down B there. Managing to set these traps for Disney as he, uh, Disney tries to get back off the ledge. But Disney lands the sweet spot side or uh, back air. And all of a sudden, Raiko is at 78%. And Man. that might be it. No. Oh, the game trying to fool us there with that one. This seems like it's over to me. There. Oh, and that's going to be it. That was incredible. Down B from Disney to take the last stock there. Brightco will move down into our loser's bracket. He's not out of the tournament just yet, in case you were hoping to see some more uh, Shulk play.